change things myself. Before I leave, quick fit check. We got the Young LA fitted shirt, as you can see. Adidas pants, Nike shoes. I know, we're rocking three three different brands. Yo, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't even run. Let's go. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today, as you guys can see, we're here in the beautiful city of Miami. For the past, like, almost two years, I haven't really been working out. And if you guys don't know, you can probably tell there was a time where I used to work out, like, four hours a day, every single day. But today, I decided I want to go on, like, a little jog through the city through here of Miami. Morning vibes are immaculate. For some reason, there's little chickies right in front of me. I don't know what's going on. That is regular here. Like literally, I'm in the middle of the city. Like literally, it's like huge buildings all around me. And there's literally little chickens just walking around the city. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Chicky, come here. Yes, yes. I'm so, wait, <laughs> wait, what sound did they make? No, oh, I saw, I saw a bug, okay. Hey, how you doing? I'm not a threat. I'm just coming to say hey. I've never gotten this close to one of these. Look at that. Yo. Oh, wow, he's coming closer. That is so fucking cool, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Miami gets a plus 10 just because of that. Oh my God. I do kind of have a designated path that I want to take. It's not like completely thought out, so we might just start running randomly and who knows. But I haven't ran in like fucking three years at this point, to be honest with you. I'm actually kind of excited. I like, I, I used to love running, to be honest with you. All right, guys, little update. So I have been running for a little bit. I ran all the way through Biscayne and Brickell. This view is fucking beautiful, man. Like literally, I was just running and I looked over to the left and I just saw that. Come on, man, that's fucking, like, come on, really? My technique is awful. Like, I don't know what happened over the years, but I literally started getting random cramps in my ankles or some shit. My legs were aching. Everything was just going like bad. And then I had this bag on my back because I wanted to bring the camera. That didn't help either. Honestly. Nope, not this song, not this song. It sounds like I'm complaining a lot, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually enjoyed that little jog I had. I'm not done yet. I do still wanna show you guys like the um, the bridge view. So on the way here, Brick was kind of like on its own island. If I show you guys a picture, downtown Biscayne and all of that, it's kind of separated from Brickle. So to get over to Brickle where I'm at now, you have to cross this bridge and then there's two bridges on each side. When I was running, bro, the view from the bridge is literally gorgeous. I don't know who like set the city up to be so aesthetically pleasing but thank them bro like this low key could be like a daily thing honestly like i enjoyed it that much when i was back in high school i'm not gonna lie i really did i thought you talking to me back in high school when i used to play football literally probably the worst decision i ever made in my life because i have so many uncurable injuries that it doesn't even make sense i wish i never would have played football the only reason i played football was just to, just to fucking fit in and that's what i mean like don't do things you wouldn't want to do just to appease other people like i literally got injuries from football trying to fit in with high school people. Like, who the fuck cares? Like, I live in Miami now. I don't give a fuck about my high school counterpart. I don't even know what they're doing. Like, I could care less. Back then, I actually enjoyed running a lot. You know, I, honestly, after like high school, I did go to the gym pretty frequently. And like, that's when I really developed my love for running. But I haven't ran in like two, almost two years. And this was like really nice. But let me catch you guys when I get to the bridge, show you guys the view. Literally, it's beautiful. You're gonna love it. Stop and get a break. Um, I've been running for like 20 minutes straight. I saw this cool little place. I don't know if it could be mentioned enough. Like Miami is just, it's a different place. Like honestly, living here is like a dream. Look where I'm sitting at. I'm sitting by this. Like, come on people. I'm happy, happy. But as I mentioned before, I definitely want to start jogging a lot more. I do really love, you know, including you guys part of my life, but there are some things that I do want to keep like, as personal things, like, you know, my personal health and stuff and like family stuff so i don't want to share everything on the channel because you know i think that's the most healthy way to do this thing because i am getting a lot bit bigger like i'm not huge yet i only have 1700 only 1700 sorry t -t 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 just talking my shit but you know i have 1700 subscribers at this point i really have to start taking account like my personal life like how i 
put that on the internet because I've been approached by a couple of you guys, not just once, but like two or three times at this point. Can't believe that's even happening to me that I'm able to corner an audience that's real and that loves me and we thrive together. Now don't get me wrong, I definitely love you guys. The support, the love, the comments, the subscribes, all that means so much to me. But you know, I do have to remind myself that, you know, it can be dangerous to put myself completely out there. Since we're on the topic of health and getting into my personal stuff, let's talk about the vaping problem. So I made a video like a couple weeks ago talking about that I, my addiction to nicotine, how I want to quit. And to be honest with you, I have been struggling with that. I think I said in that video that I threw my vape away and that I quit. But honestly, this is like so embarrassing to admit, but I did buy a new vape. Um, it is running out at this point, um, so that's thankfully. I don't think I'm gonna buy a new one, hopefully. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. These are old people doing old people shit. Like, what is going on here? Is this what old people do? They just like take pictures of ferns and walk around naked, half naked, and just walk slowly through life. Is that what old people do? Is that what retirement's like? Low key, that kind of sounds boring. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of enjoy the hustle and hustle of life. People in my age dig uh, demographic, we all have a pretty serious problem with vaping. I don't know how it got put upon us, but pretty much everybody I know, my friends, their friends, their friends, their friends, they all vape. Like it's a really common issue. And a lot of people don't even see it as an issue. They just see it as this cool thing to do. And that's not me. I don't even know how we all got sold on this ideal of vaping or whatever. I mean, I guess it com comes from cigarettes and it's a healthier. I've been told that it's not even healthier. It's actually more dangerous because of the chemicals and stuff. So, you know, I just want to quit it all together. It's not for me. It's 8.10 now, bro. I've been running for almost like an hour straight. So I need to go home. I'm tired. Go home, take a shower and fix the apartment. <sighs> Goodbye, beautiful location that I randomly found. Look at that bridge, bro. What? This is beautiful, man. I love this city. I did not forget to show you guys the Brickle Bridge. Oh my God, like, I just love this city so much. Like just look behind me. Look at the views, bro. But I'm on the way back home now. Um, I gotta take a shower. I don't sweat often, but I'm literally sweating a little bit. Let me get home, um, and I'm getting you guys when I get there. All right. All right, I'm back home now, and I feel disgusting. My whole back is wet. I definitely need to get in the shower, like pronto. Then we can come back and get into a little bit of spring cleaning, and then we can talk about some video ideas that I have planned for the future that I think you guys would really like. I feel literally disgusting. Like, my whole body is just moist. I don't like being moist. Oh, I hate that wet shirt feel. I'm a little sore, so before I get, get into like cleaning the apartment and all that, I want to do a little bit of stretching. I haven't stretched in probably over a year. I'm gonna look a little sus, it's whatever, and you guys can feel any kind of way, I don't care. Why does that one actually hurt, bro? Fuck. All right, so now I want to do a little bit of spring cleaning. As you guys can see, the apartment's a little bit of a mess over there. I don't know why, I still haven't bought a trash can. I definitely need to buy that. It's mandatory. I have some pretty big videos that I want to get done. I know you guys like when I talk about Miami and my experiences and you know moving here and you know dealing with all of that. So I definitely want to get into that about videos that I'm thinking about making. Let's get some cleaning done on this nice, beautiful Monday evening or morning here in Miami. I have a bit of a problem. This here, this is all good. All of this trash here can easily go down my, um, or we have a garbage chute like right down the hall and I can just throw the trash down there. But this is gonna be a problem. These boxes here are gonna be a little bit of an issue because for those boxes, 
have to go all the way downstairs and I live on the 45th floor. When you're on the top floor, everybody below you has to use the elevator all at once for some odd reason, it's crazy. So literally every time I get on the elevator, it's like 10 minutes of me just sitting on the elevator waiting to get to the bottom. I just took a shower, I'm gonna be sweating again. <sighs> you know, should have made these decisions before I thought of this. Of course we're rocking the Crocs, no socks. You know the fit some point. Luckily I don't have to break these down. If I have to break these down too, Boy, I tell you. So I think I could just like stuff things in here because like I have a lot of, there's a good amount of space, so let's not do that. I'm just gonna dump stuff in here to fill it up so I don't have to take too many trips. Why is there a bloody napkin in, in, in the box? What, where did this come from? Why? I don't even know, this is, yeah. A little bit of the spring cleaning done. Really most of it. Uh, I just gotta get the floor clean. They didn't even realize that the bathroom was that dirty. Like it was hair and grime and stuff all over the floor until I went in there and cleaned it. Oh, shit, oh, sorry. So you can see the floor is so dirty. Like look at that, it's just so much hair and random stuff, but that's that. As you can see, I cleaned the bathroom, so I'm not like letting water like clean the rest of the inside, but I got like most of the random stains and grime that was just on the um, shower. So there's a method to all this madness. The reason I am cleaning the apartment so furiously is because um, this is gonna kind of tie into what I wanted to talk about earlier. I wanna finally do my fully funner, <laughs> what? I wanna finally get my fully furnished uh, video, apartment tour video out. You know, now having my desk and a bed and you know, cleaning it up and making it look nice. I think I'm finally to a point where I can kind of show you guys like pretty much everything that's going on. Obviously I record the apartment all the time, so you kind of see most of it, but you haven't seen the apartment in a full, like full complete video of just showing the apartment off. And I can't forget about the balcony view. Beautiful, beautiful view, love to see it. When I first woke up at six, I was kind of debating like, do I want to do this video or not? Because, you know, I'm not really a morning person. Funny thing about that is I wake up every day at 4 a.m. because, you know, the job I work. I say I'm not a morning person, but I, I literally get up every single day at four o'clock. It is agonizing. Like I sometimes I really, sometimes I really be having like some dark thoughts. Like yo, do I want to do I want to continue to do this shit? All right, here we are. You know, we came far away these past couple years. Like you've been keeping up with the journey. You heard from the beginning when I first moved to Miami. It's a different vibe for the channel. Like nowadays, I like to vlog me just having fun. You know, building a desk. You know, just talking about my life and just what I'm going through. You know, moving here. If you do want to come out here and you're like you just starting your journey off and you don't really have much to your name yet, it's gonna be a very difficult and hard, gruesome experience getting here. In the beginning, it was not like this, you know? I was going through some, a lot of dark stuff. Like, it was tough, you know? So, a couple of videos do I, that I definitely wanna do in the future. One is the apartment tour. I'm definitely gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that next. So, I don't think this will be the next video after this, but I, it's gonna be coming soon. So, I would probably say in the next week or two, be looking out for a fully apartment furnished whatever tour for the, you know, for the, for the exam, you know, it's coming. And also be looking out for more vlogs and me just like maybe going to a coffee shop and just relaxing and chilling or just going out to the park and just enjoying life and just doing what I do and just showing that side of me. Start looking out for those type of videos. Of course, I'm still gonna have my Miami, you know, tip videos and the things that I did to get here. Like I know for sure I haven't really, I mean, I've gotten, I've gone over like topics, but I haven't gotten to like the really grimy stuff, like the stuff that people are scared to talk about. So like, I definitely, definitely have more videos coming out. I see you guys' DMs, you guys' comments and all of that. I see that you guys do want to be out here and I definitely want to help you, you know? I want to be the guy that you can come to if you ever need any questions or you don't know I don't know, you don't know, you're kind of scared to do something. I want to be the guy that you can come to and always be 
always feel like assured that, okay, Todd knows who he's talking about. He did it. Let me just listen to what he has to say. I want to be that guy. I do want to say, you know, this journey has been so different than I thought it was going to be. You know, when I first started this channel, I always kind of knew I was going to be here. I know I'm going to, I know I'm going to go farther than this. You know, I know I have so much more to go. I have such a long journey, love. You know, it's, this is not the end. This is not the finale. This is like just the beginning. You know, I know that. I always kind of hope for this. And the fact that I'm getting it, you know, the love, the support, finding you guys out in public. Like I've actually gotten recognized a couple times, which is still mind boggling to me. Like I don't think, I'll, maybe I will get used to it. Hopefully not, I don't know. But I don't know if I ever get used to the fact that people that I don't know, know me, love me, and that I love you guys. And like, it's just like this different kind of personal, but not personal connection between us. This is, know that I'm finally getting that. It's like, it's beautiful. And I really can't thank you guys enough for that. You know, it's not everything that I wanted to have yet, you know, but we're moving up slowly but surely and one day it all it all will make sense all of this pain suffering and you know the dark times it all will make sense in the end if there's anybody out there watching comment below something positive you know we don't get enough positivity in the world i don't think like i, I see a lot of negativity dark energy and it's just to me when you're a positive you know leading person living around such dark and negative energy really takes a toll on your like on me like on my mind like, i'm t i get I get tired just living in the world itself because, you know, everywhere you go, it's just, oh, I hate this, I hate that, this sucks. Like, I just, you know, you don't want to, sometimes you just want to get through life and just be happy with, you know, in the moment. And it's, it's kind of hard to do that when everything around you is pretty shitty. So, comment below something positive. Just, I don't know, say anything nice that you probably, it's just in the back of your head that you, probably are suppressing for some odd reason. Maybe the media is telling you to do it, but you don't have to. I'm telling you right now, I give you permission. You can say, yo, you, that shirt looks nice. It's not gay. You tell a guy, bro, you look good today. You can go to a girl and say, you know what? I like your personality. Without you being a simp, it's okay. We can live together in a harmonious society where we all love each other. That is my closing statement. Thank you guys for watching. Don't click off, because I know a lot of you want to click off. You already clicked off, didn't you? Okay, for the ones that didn't, you are actually a special and loved person. You could have clicked off. I know a lot of people here, thanks for watching, I gotta go. But you stay, you're a good person. I like you. You, I like you. The other guy, we don't have to talk about him, but you, you're good. All right, I love you so much. I'm out, peace.